if I start this... This is a Lego brick. This is a camera. And this is a completely fake product that I need to make a commercial for. But there's a catch. I can only use camera gear that I build myself out of Lego. That means if I need a camera tripod, I have to build it out of Lego. If I need a cool shot that requires a camera slider, I have to build that out of Lego. And at the end of this video, I'm going to try to get one of the greatest videographers of our time, Daniel Schiffer, to rate my commercial and tell me how good it is. But before I show you guys this commercial I made, I need to go back just a few days to when I came up with this idea. So the first thing we need to do is create an idea. We have this soda that I created. So we need to figure out like, why would there be a commercial? What would be in the commercial? So it's like yellow and a liquid. It's fruity, fruity, juicy. I think we have an idea. <laughs> All right, time to storyboard. Okay, so here we have our beautiful storyboard and we have here our shot list. Goal is making a video of tasty beverage. So we have our shot list, we have our sound effects we'll need. The plan is to start with this shot, which is essentially a rotational shot from below, looking up at my hand holding fruit. Okay, so for the first shot in this commercial, we want a rotating thing. So we'll have a rotating thing like this. So the first step in that is to build a cage around this camera that we can snap onto any Lego tripod or slider or whatever we build. What is this? I think we can build this cage really simply if we just do things like that. We can go over the top here, like, somehow. Nice. Now we have a camera tripod holder thing. We can attach it to pretty much anything by using Technic pins on the bottom. Now we need to build a really simple slider, which should just go Here we have this piece, which essentially just clicks. So that gives us 90 degrees. So let's attach some wheels to this. So now we have this, and as you can see, it goes at sort of an angle. If we want to increase the angle, we just do that, and then it goes like that. Okay, does that work? Yes, it does. I'm happy with it. All right, so we just created our first camera dolly. So let's take this thing over to set and shoot the first shot. So the first shot is me holding, we got our props here, a lime, and then we have an orange and a lemon. So I'm gonna hold all these things above the table. It's the tires. No, it's perfectly fine. I was laughing because I didn't know my face was shot. I have a better idea. Let's just do it flat like I was intended. This right here, go to one side, come back, and then I'll grab another. Cool. Okay, so we got the first shot with this, and the slider's actually working really well. We just need to kind of nail down how we get the shots a little bit better. Let's get one more shot where I'm chopping this. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a free shot. <laughs> this is a Daniel Schiffer trick I learned. You're gonna go the same speed, same thing you were doing a second ago, and I'm just gonna cut through it. Okay. <laughs> looks so dumb. Ah. Uh, no. We're too slow. One. That was awesome. All right, so we got one more shot with the slider. I think that turned out pretty good. Now we need to trust the actual product, so I'm gonna build a rotating base to kind of show off the product. Let's go do that real quick. We'll start with the nice flat base. We need a motor. It doesn't have to look pretty, it just needs to rotate slowly. So, first thing we need is a gear ratio, because as you can see here, this thing rotates way too fast. That's clearly not what we want. That is perfect. Look how slowly this one is turning on the front there. Absolutely marvelous, okay. Guys, I think I know what this is. It's a sponsor for today's video, NordVPN. If you didn't know because your head's been buried underground or something, NordVPN is a virtual private network which allows you to browse on the internet safely, knowing that all your personal data and internet activity stays secure. It also makes it super easy to connect to different servers with just one click. Look, now my virtual location is Asia. <laughs> One of my favorite things about NordVPN is that they have a dark web monitor that assesses data leaks. That way you can make sure all your accounts and personal information stay secure. And if they do find your information is being exposed in a data leak, they'll send you an alert so that you know if you need to change a password or not. Another cool thing about NordVPN is if you find a game you wanna play and say it's only available in a different country, you can simply change your virtual location to one of over 5,100 different servers worldwide. And voila, 
you have, you can play games now on that. And it lets you connect up to six different devices simultaneously. So technically, you can play six different games at once if you had five other friends. So if you want in on the sweet, sweet feeling of knowing your personal data stays secure, go to nordvpn.com slash bricksigns to get a two year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. And huge thanks again to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the build. Oh, it's perfectly fine. All right, <laughs> so now we have this part. Let's take this over to set and get our next shot. All right, so I set it up again. I have this little rotational thing here and then I have my little light. And we have this flashlight right here. And as you can see, it's very bright. However, we want colored light. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our colored Lego and you can see if we put this over this, it makes different colored light. Now we have a nice green light like so. So now we can just put like tape around this. So back to shooting. <laughs> this thing rotates, we need to get it pretty centered. And then we have a rotating shot. So now we're just gonna get a rotating shot of it. Hey, I think that actually worked pretty well. <laughs> we're gonna add more effects obviously. Um, and maybe like cut it out from the background. I'm just gonna get it on a couple different backgrounds real quick, just to make sure that it looks pretty enough and stuff. <laughs> the lighting looks terrible, but trust me, it'll look cool. Editors know it actually didn't look that cool, so we ended up switching to a blue backdrop, which worked a lot better. All right, so for the final like hero shot, we have this nice jar, and the plan is to build a little rotator, kind of like the one we made, but a lot faster, so We'll have some ice in this, we'll rotate it really fast. We'll have the camera attached to the robot arm right above it or something. And then we'll have the soda pouring in it so it's like kind of making a spiral. And I think if we shoot it in slow motion, that'll be really cool. And now we just need to figure out a way for this to actually turn. And I still don't know how we're gonna do that. Um, Let's fill this with liquid and just test and see if we can do it manually. <laughs> it's probably a little too much, but it's fine. Fortunate part is this has to spin really pretty fast. Okay, let's try this. Just throw that on there and pretend that it's the right guy and stuff. Okay, okay, so I'm slightly impressed. Now we just need to mount this on here. I think it's gonna work, guys. I really do. Okay, let's let's go test this thing out. Let me show you guys something. Okay, so we're gonna put this in here. This is how this tripod thing works. This side pulls up like that. All right, this is the setup we have. We have... Now I know what you guys are probably thinking. Where did you get a Lego robot? A couple months ago, I built this Lego robot on my channel to build stuff out of Lego. And since then it hasn't really been used much, so I decided to strip all the electronics and repurpose it for this video to hold the camera. The only issue is, it's not actually strong enough to move the camera. But we'll get to that later. Right now we have to get this shot. So the plan for this is to essentially shoot this. This is shooting 120 FPS, so then we can slow it down. Essentially we're just going to take our soda and just pour it in the side over ice and see if it turns out looking cool. We got our ice and we'll just drop that. So if I start this, like that, it's now going. Should have a good. <laughs> uh, I'll see how that looked, I guess. I'll get another take of that. Oh my gosh, that's so scary. Okay, we'll see how that went. Sorry, the camera's over there. We'll see how that looked, and uh, yeah. I just real quick wanna give a huge shout out to Daniel Schiffer. He was a big inspiration for all this. I watch the channel a lot. Daniel, if you're watching this, please rate the commercial in the comment section. Thank you. <laughs> now we have our blue screen, so it's gonna shoot directly down on that. I'm just gonna come over here and like literally just slowly rotate. I'm actually gonna do a little smoother. Just get a good rotation for each of these. You know what I mean? So we'll mask out everything. All right, so here's some of the shots we got from that. Again, we'll have to edit them, make them look a lot better. For the last shot, I need to bring over another table because I want to do the hero shot of the glass of soda and the two bottles of juice or whatever, but I want to have the camera slowly like moving across or something. Remember what I said earlier about it not working? Yeah. 
So for the first reason, it doesn't work super well. This is super heavy and the robot, as you can tell, does not like that. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to turn. Yeah. Oh, you know what we could do? We'd hang part of it from the ceiling. That's genius. Just grab a bungee cord or something. Okay, I gotta do that. Look at that. Dude, that is literally awesome. But we can finally get the final shots of the lemon and stuff. I didn't think we were gonna be able to use this. This is so awesome. Okay, let's get the last shots and get this thing edited. Oh my gosh, let's get the last shots. Finally, after hours of work, years of dedication, and a couple Lego bricks, we have our finished commercial. Now real quick, just before before you see this, everything in this video was either shot handheld, being held by a Lego robot arm, or using some sort of Lego gear to make this shot happen. So with that said, here's the commercial I came up with. Guys, I couldn't get a hold of Daniel Schiffer. Daniel, if you're watching this, please comment on my video. It'd be super appreciated if you give me your rating down below. I think this project was really cool. It was also a little stressful just to use like everything made of Lego because there were some shots I wanted to get but required a tripod or required different things. However, some of these shots wouldn't have been possible without Lego, like the one where I pour the drink down into the the spinning cup, that wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't built that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys click the first link in the description, check out NordVPN. You get a really good deal for Black Friday. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.